it's always the loneliness, the fear, struggling with the flies, with the mosquitoes, with the fleas, with the ticks. It's absolutely horrific. She's eating ravenously, she's thin. I don't know that she's fed on a regular basis. I think it's very important for us to try and get her out of here very, very soon. People chain their dogs out like a yard ornament. They don't care for them, they don't feed them, people forget about their dogs. Dogs are social creatures and they want to be inside with their families. This chain came off of a puppy whose neck vertebrae can't hold the weight of it. It could be pouring rain or snow, and in the summer months, temperatures here can exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a national issue. We are always going to do what's right for individual animals. We do it by necessity. We do it because we have to. We help out people with their dogs that don't have money to take care of their dogs. The people are really poor. One of the struggles that we really face is general lack of education on knowing what they really need. So we try to educate people as much as possible, but it's hard to take someone coming in who is telling you everything you've been doing is wrong and you need to start doing it this way. What if they're house dog? All dogs are house dogs. Hmm? All dogs are house dogs. Part of the work that we do is living on hope. You know, we hope that we can educate people to do better for them. I think it's very important for people to look behind the numbers at the individual animals that we encounter in the field and what their stories are. Every one of those numbers is a story. Every one of those numbers is an individual animal.